Welcome back to another video of WWE 2K24. Anyway, let's play. So previously, uh, we did the whole weird <laughs> thing where we actually get powers. Um, so we got an optional quest here, so we'll talk to this guy. Now that you've crawled through the darkness, do you finally see the light? Mick Foley. Sometimes, but other times I'm just known as mankind. What are you doing here? If there is anyone who understands the journey you're on, it's good old Mick and all his faces. I'm like your fairy godfather. My fairy godfather? You got that right. I've done everything there is to do in WWE. Dude Love was a superstar. Cactus Jack was the most brutal man on earth and mankind Mankind ate the sins for all the world. Believe me, I know. You're one of my heroes. Great. I'm here to trip the light fantastic down memory lane and give you the opportunity to try something unique via Mix special pixie dust. That sounds weird. Besides, after what you've just been through, I'm guessing you'd like someone around who knows a little something about what you experienced. Doesn't seem like there's too many of us, that's for sure. You were taking souls, but what mankind would take was punishment. I lived for it. The more abuse there was, the stronger I became. How much could you take, Cap? I could take all of it. Then you need to test your limits. In the match that made mankind legendary, hell in a cell. And I've got just the opponent and a little bit of my pixie dust to make it feel extra special. I think that's exactly what I need to put this all behind me. Let's go to hell. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Hell in a cell. The most nefarious, unforgiving structure in WWE and one that transformed my career forever. Your supernatural powers may have been otherworldly, but let's take it down to earth as we find out how you'd fare against the ninth wonder of the world. And if you really want to pay tribute to my power mankind, you'll know sometimes a fall can push you even higher. Have a nice day. Hell in a cell. I don't know what it is. Let's have a look here. What is our objective? Okay. We... Uh, to attempt the pen. So pretty much defeat her any way possible. I guess we'll just do a pen though. Goodness. Ringside combat. Uh, the ringside area of Hell in a Cell match is very narrow. Your move set has been adjusted to work the constraints of the environment. Strike your opponent. Um, hold left stick uh, towards the apron cell and press X to grapple. Breaking the cell wall while outside or during a hell in the cell. Use the ringside attacks to Irish whip your opponent and break the section of the cell near the corners.
Of course he can do it. I don't know what she's doing. Should I also climb it? Oh shit, you can actually fall all the way down? She has her ultimate already. I'm scared of that. Let's do a thief move. Hopefully we can land it. I'm trying to hit her through the cage. There we go. There goes my ultimate. Okay, that, that sucks. I don't want to enrage. Bro, the Hound the Cell thing is kind of, like, risky. And I don't know how there's no commentating through this. Right? Hitting someone through the roof of that? That's... That's... That could be death right there. Goodness. That's crazy. Okay, so that section of the story is done now, I guess. So we'll move on to the others. Two more additional stories that we can actually interact with. And obviously we will. Because we just get so much stronger. We have 41 points to spend, bro. Listen to them all already. What are you looking at? 
I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. You know, let's be honest here. If you watched the previous two episodes, they were, they were fearing me for sure. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm, maybe a different brand then. Sure. Show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card. But I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Xylee. Feeling like Zia Lee and Indy Hartwell could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. Let's do it. And we'll save the other quest for last, I believe. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know what is main quest line and what's not, to be honest. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. So this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Oh, God, face! Uh, I still can't find a weapon. Now looking for something there we go. to play her opponent with. Lee feeling a sense of confidence here. And she's clearly got devious intentions in her mind here. Oh, and she got out of there. She's in the ring now. Flapjack. A quick cover. That could have been it right there. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave her well. Ooh, just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. First quest done. Into the floor. What's she going to do? And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. She was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. And you can tell there are true intentions in mind right now. And she had Zaya's number there. What the? With authority! Oh my god! She's forced onto the defensive now. <laughs> Boom! What a punch! Backbreaker! Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Returning to the ring now. Oh. oh my gosh, what impact. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. When the triple match. Chicken wing. Face buster. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, God. Can you attack the one next to you? Oh my god. Oh my goodness! I pressed three times, dude. Lands the elbow. No. Devastating kick. And the protector, Zia Lee, calling the audience to her side. <laughs> Left by the turnbuckles. Boom! <laughs> what a hot shot! Set up the way to the outside. Indy denies the attack. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Bullseye! She's into the ring again. Can you grab the fucking chair, dude? Bomb. The power bomb's not meant to be pretty, but oh man, does it get the job done. Yeah, pretty 
just sure they don't want to be taking any more of those. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. Look, she breaks the hold. out of the ring. What's next? Bringing a steel chair into play here. And here we go now. Comes back into the ring. What impact! Right in the kisser. She's taking a beating here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Hartwell looking to make an example of her opponent. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. I'm gonna get a stick next. Wow. Rev protect me. This is insane. It couldn't have felt good being chucked around like that. Able to avoid any harm there. Oh man, by the hair. Zaylee is looking to deflate her opponent. She turns it right around. She had it right where she wanted her. Because I'm getting fucking assassinated. Retaliated with a head turning clothesline. This could do it. She breaks the count quick. Yeah, she probably knew that cover wouldn't do it. All right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Pump handle suplex. Side rush and leg sweep, takedown, and rapid fire rights over and over. Oh my gosh! Lee is going up top. Back in the ring from the top. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. Oh, why am I grabbing her? You don't see this every day. The close <laughs> right to the shoulder of her opponent. I'm trying to switch targets, but the game is like, nah, my dude. And that was an effective attack, guys. Pulls the trigger. Oh, a knee strike. Oh, foot just stomping down. Zia Lee is looking to deflate her opponent. Telegraph that one and delivers a blow to the gut. No telling what she'll find under the ring here. She was looking for the great equalizer, and she found it in the steel chair. And that was a well-targeted attack. This match may be Harwell left an opening. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Hundy smashing the face. Critical danger for Indy. Bye, have a great time. Makes the cut. <laughs> Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. I honestly think she just put the rest of the women's locker room on notice with this triple threat match. It's because I'm too good at video games, that's why. Who's the cutie pie? That's what I'm talking about, my buddy. Wow, I didn't expect to see you on SmackDown tonight. And where did all of that extra aggression come from? You don't think I normally have that? I mean, you do. But this seemed different. Kind of scary. Should I be afraid of you? Trying something new. And maybe. <laughs> Talk to me, Ripley. Okay. So you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? What? No, seriously? 
Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. Oh, we can challenge one or the other then. Challenge the innocent. Challenge the tough. I, I think the tough one sounds better. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So we're associated now? Shut up. No, you shut up. Want me to choke slam you right here? Huh? Just announced her uh, after her surprise appearance on SmackDown, Superstar turns the newfound brutality uh, to Co Q Q of S Baszler. Goodness, dude, what a name! Let's get me out of the reading stuff. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. What's my dress style, well, she dude? should care. She's across the ring for one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Exhibiting a crazy amount of strength here. I'll just leave it at this. Nobody comes into a match hoping to get chucked around like that. This is not the time to be diverting attention away from your opponent. Oh. Looks like Baszler is psyching herself up. I have to... Okay, ringside. To get out again. Let me join you. Coming back in the ring. What the fuck? Dude. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, the shoulder claw. Look at this. Agony and pain. And there was some force on that move. And now she's getting back into the ring. Huh? What the hell uh, has playing by the rules gotten you? Uh, show China you're not the same woman by the Irish whipping into the ring side barricade. Didn't I just do that? She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Delivered into the barricade. Bang! Ponter. Taking this one back to the ring now. She's got the whole WWE Universe rallying behind her. Ref, what are you doing? Leave me. A nice shot by Shayna Baszler. The fuck are you doing, Ref? Wind him up. Boom. Knock him down. Ouch. This is all the Ref's fault, dude. Better opponent right here. One count's getting harder and harder to kick out of. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Oh, my God. Superhuman power. You feel like hope. You got to respect her continued effort. All of this is the ref's fault. To continue fighting to survive. Fuck off, ref. She's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Eat defeat. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Alabama slam. 
Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Dodges out of the way. And Baszler escapes. She scores big with the counter. Hooking it up here. What's next? Boom! Incredible suplex. What am I doing? Get out of the ring. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. out for Baszler. She's done. Thrown back in under the ropes. All the way up. The big time. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? <laughs> Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here having made a statement. But why? I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Me neither. I also don't get it, but <laughs> we got disqualified and the game continues, <laughs> so we'll take it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking, and I'm not only done following blindly, I'm gonna do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way. Goodness, you need some milk. Talk to me, girl. That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say. 
the best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. I don't know why we're trying to impress her anyway. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. It's not my job to impress her. She just told us how to do it. And now we're doing it, so. Carly Prime is an all-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Why Carly. didn't I grab her from behind? Impressive display of power. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. DDT! Boom! She's taking some big hits here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Oof. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the... What is our quest? Spoil Carly's NXT debut by defeating her in a pinfall submission. Turnbuckle pad. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh, yeah. She's saying, let's go. Bring it. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. Able to reverse. getting beaten down. Well, good. The officials saw that happen. Carly Prime is an All-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Oh. Seated Bionic Elbow. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Looking bad for her here. She can withstand the punishment, though. Can she withstand it? Are you sure? In no time, kicking things up by bringing this chair into play. Ooh! Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. Thunderous right hand. Oh, ouch! Oh. Dragon screw. And Carly needed that badly. Carly Prime showing it's not a time. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Let's get fired up, baby. Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. Come on. Ah. Reverses. She's tipping the scales here a bit. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Steered clear of that. Close line. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Saw that one coming. I wonder what that snow icon is. That was all sorts of nasty. That is the kind of move that leaves our jaws on the floor. Unbelievable. Here we go. Signature move. Metal suplex. She has her target weighed and measured. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on. Carly Prime in a tight spot. Oh, fish is knee to the face. Lays eyes on Carly now. Pin. I'm still not sure what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the Cap. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE.
I look up to you. It sounds like Should've actually sad. Might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? From well, Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. Bro. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? And apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure. I don't know what's happening here. I'm actually sad about Ripley. I wish there was an option. My goodness. This is why brutality. Story complete. We have two options here. And we have 34 points, bro. Uh, sure. Ninety three. I don't know, dude. I don't think that ninety three matters. Grappling is ninety seven. And right, let's talk to Tori first, but we won't accept. There she is, my favorite superstar. What now? First off, love this energy. Tough. No nonsense. Brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it, truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? I think I like you better terrified, so I'm gonna pass. You'll at least remember that I made the offer, though, right? What offer? <laughs> You're hilarious. Uh, but seriously, let me know if you change your mind. I'll bump whoever I have to bump for you. Just say the word. Let's talk to the other girl first and see what she has to say. You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... Ugh. I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way? Being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, 
Get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing, but I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. I'm gonna do this because I I want, you know, Sally to be fine. But I'm scared also like this will lead us to actually fight Sally in a ring. Seems to be searching for herself out there. It takes a long time for the echo of betrayal to finally fade, Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Or else one of these days, her opponent's gonna knock it right off. Bulldog! Oh, oh what a kick! Shining wizard! Why am I head Ooh. hurt? My head is yellow. The arm and a big boot to the guts. Oh, she's feeling the hurt here. Yeah, Psycho Sally reminding her opponent she's not someone to take lightly. Oh, oh man. Incredible pressure being put on Thea. Any of Thea Hale's defenses have been pegged. And that toss sent them soaring. Was definitely not thinking about f Blast off. Oh, my. Apron sent time. Watch out. They're coming. Just submission. Lol, dude, are you serious? Kick out at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Jarring impact. What a response from Sally. Forearm smash. And that was a hell of a maneuver there, guys. Oh. She's staying elusive. has got to find a way out of this dire spot. Get on up, girl. Let's do it. Uh -oh. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two count. Psycho Sally gets the win. Because I'm too good at video games. Psycho Sally. Thea Hale put away in this one. The inexperience factor coming into play for Thea Hale. She might want to hit the books before her next match. What books? Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Ah, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe, but I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally, I just won a match by straight up cheating, held my opponent's tights, one, two, three! And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the Caps and Rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to, like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? 
Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? No, I think she's gonna call it awesome. Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> they are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that shared betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. Man. Just driven into the mat. There's a Russian leg sweep. Hey, chill. And heavy hands. Not the face. Practically never ending blows. Coming at full force here. What a head scissor takeover. Turning the tables there. Bam. Put it in the corner now. Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Gets the tag. Oh, check this out. What a DDT. Man, good night. Oh, what a kick. Psycho Sally sending a clear message here. Oh, look at head scissors. Boom! Head scissors DDT. Let's go, baby. Step over. DDT. Oof. Ah, shot to the back. Use a chair and get disqualified. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Oh, boy. Come on. Not the chair. Oh, God. Right to the premium. Plenty of hits coming her way now. You can't do that. Well, it's going to cost them the match. It's gonna cost them the match. <laughs> Oopsie. Wow, that was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know, that felt freaking incredible. Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Wham. Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy. I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why, that's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah, we attack the tag team champions. They're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure. We could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. I make no promises. Are we going to get disqualified again? Again. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. And if you've uh, it's just knockout, right? Ever seen an elimination tag team tornado match? Here's some advice. Don't blink. Back out. See? Did you see that? Standing moonsault. We might be close to the end. Yeah, she is not looking good right now. Oh, my! 
And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage. I think you can come back from this many. These are the kinds of attacks that can put a superstar on the shelf for a long time. Oh, look at head scissors. DDT! Incredible. And the official calls it clearly they cannot fight any longer. They are done for, bro. I don't even think they got a hit in. <laughs> Guess you heard? Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep, worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality, brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is, it's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No, no you don't. You feel like a bully, and that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But we got a title opportunity. And we are going to go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Hell yeah. But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. So let's go win the tag team titles and prove it. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge to the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're gonna get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more Penny predicament shoulders down. And the shoulders up. Trying to get this over with Pronto. Big four. like that could mean trouble for the champion if they want to leave here with the title. Dawn with a Ooh. nice turnaround. Butterflies the arms. And over into a suplex. <laughs> Dude, Fatis is jumping on me. What the heck? And a tag there. Oh, agile movement. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Why did I put my back against? You are not worthy. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Uh oh. What a hurricane. Champ caught off guard by that. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Showing the kind of skills you need to hold on to a title. Lariat. A wind up and a thunderous double axe handle. Let's do it. Listen, referee, can you move? Thank you. Slam! You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Wrestling up there, opponent! What a gut wrench powerbomb! More power moves like that, we could be looking at... Uh, let's see here. The new I think anyone can win. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Evades the attack! Dominating shoulder tackle! Looks like Carly... Let's tell her to... Yeah, yeah Alba has to plot a way to get back into this. Oh, Matt Slam with some attitude. Jumping face buster. 
Throw against the corner. Boom! Big overhand. Oh, man. There's a tag. What are they going to do here? We're about to find out. Corey, this can't be good. Backbreaker. And it's not over yet. A second one. Completely destroying their core with those impacts. Arm control applied and a work in the arm and then a kick right to the ribs. Fire got out of the way. Uh, check this out. DDT. Mm, good night. Oh, what a kick. Psycho Sally just taking a moment to soak it all in. Boom. She was clearly waiting for that. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Got the head scissors on. Sharp elbow. She Light. What an important equalizer the kendo stick can be. That is it. The challenger's Light. shaken. Yeah, as Fire's patented killer instinct was on display. Just how desperate do you have to be? What about a fair fight, huh? Well, Mom is running away from Sally. You're not going to find out they're showing any remorse. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the world. Ridiculous standing shooting star. That kind of agility is something that just might get the champ shook. When the challenger can come at you from all angles, that makes for a very dangerous situation. Shoulders down! Championship! Whoa, didn't expect to see that. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. My teammate is down. Psycho Sally just taking a moment to soak it all in. Oh. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Good grief. That's a chop that'll wake you up. Oh, it gets put into the barricade. He's stunned. Rolling into a monkey flip. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. She is really getting fired up. My character was like, who do I attack? Who do I attack? And now she's looking to go top rope. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, she lands hard. Oh, Doc looking to plant her with a DDT. Ducking out of trouble. Fighting back by the counter. Able to get there in time. Trying to force an error. Slow. Tag with a punch. Dawn diagnosing her target. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. Oh, here we go. This is raw power. Way up and down hard. 
The champ looking out of sorts. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And a bulldog to follow it up. Tagged into the action. Oh, quite an effective counter. What the fuck? Look at this. She better have a good reason for this. Ooh. Ooh. Kick finds it. Catches the kick. Spectacular counter into a dragon screw. And Prime reverses. Dawn in grave danger here. That was awesome. The title might change hands. Try to end it. And we have new tag team champions. Here we are. A moment. The team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. A defeat for the Twisted Team, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. These two looking like a force to be reckoned with in the women's tag team division. That was a pretty cool match, though. I kept sending my partner out to go attack theirs. <laughs> Every time I think I could pin, I just go and send my partner out. Go attack theirs quickly. I'm gonna pin soon. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, let's just talk to her. Hey, partner. How you feeling? Uh, like I just learned how to fly? Tag team champions? How's that? Psycho! Absolute madness. Ooh, that's not a bad team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho? Hmm, possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, <sighs> gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now, you're on fire! Maybe I was. Cap messed me up, but... She also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. What? Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. For now? For now. What? They want to take me on? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> guys, we will click this continue button in the next episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!